wagon, eight, nine hundred horsepower, it's gonna get serious. It looks like poetry and motion. It's a beautiful thing to watch. Here comes Renz that is gonna make a two for one. Man, how do you bet against Carl with nine wins already? Carl Renz that are with a huge lead now. That's what everybody loves about this race right there. It is total chaos. What a great race. So you guys know who Carl Renz that are is, right? Yeah. He, he pro makes, two, pro four. Pro trucks. He like makes it happen. They need some parts. It's basically the casing, the outer shell for the differential. It was made out of steel. Now they're going to a 7075 aerospace grade aluminum. So we're gonna make some cool parts for some race trucks. So what's good for you guys is that most of the work is being done in the lathe department today. It's about time you got us some work. Uh, what are you talking about, man? You guys are like pounding work every single day. We don't show any of that on the show. Oh, I know, but now you got some big boys. These are actually decent sized parts. All the work is done on the lathe with a little bit of mill work, so all the pressure lies with us. Let me show you the process on how we're gonna attack this thing. So first I'm gonna take a big drill to the center of the part. That way my face tool doesn't have to go as far down. And then I'm gonna face the part with the OD tool and I'm gonna start turning across the top. This is a big part with a smaller front OD, so it's gonna be taking off a lot of material. There's a big mill feature on the back of the part, so I need to make sure that I leave enough material that they can make out that shape on the back. It's got a big groove in the middle of the part, so I'm planning on going in with a right-handed tool and a left-handed tool that have a steep enough angle that they're able to groove the part. So now we're gonna be doing the left-hand tool. It's the same exact tool as the right-handed tool that did all the OD work, except it's coming in from the opposite side. By doing it this way, I can run this part a lot faster, and I don't need to use an actual groove tool to do it. So now I'm gonna use a boring tool and I'm gonna open up the hole that I put in earlier. Once this tool's done and it does the finish pass, you can take the part out and you can get it to Sean so we can start cranking on the second side. Being down here on this track is amazing, but you're like flying around these turns. Oh yeah. Going over these crazy jumps. Yeah, so crazy jump, that's the biggest jump that we have in our race series. That whole area that says launch zone is about a 200 foot jump where we fly 200 about- 200 feet right 200 there. 200 feet from where you take off to where you land, probably 70, 75 miles an hour, coming right in, landing, sliding into that corner with uh, multiple trucks. Multiple people trucks. People in front of you, Crazy. people behind you. So we got the first part signed off. Chris is working on it right now. It was almost too easy. So now we're moving on to the outer differential housing. Once again, I've got the part loaded up in Autodesk Inventor. It's the best way to take a block of material to turn it into a part. We gotta get this part done fast. We have another operation to do after this and the part's gotta ship out soon. So let's get on it. I'm gonna start drilling first again. Same reason, so the face tool doesn't have to go down as far. I'm gonna start running the face tool and then we're gonna turn across the OD again. A nice heavy cut so the chips break off really nice. Once again, it's a very big part. There's a lot of work that's going on here because of the differences in ODs. Now I'm gonna bore out the ID, which stands for internal diameter. OD is outside diameter. Now we're gonna do a light finish pass across the part. We're able to flip it around and go to the next side. So once again, we're gonna do some face passes to bring it to length. Now we're gonna turn across the OD, outside diameter. There's no mill profile on this part, so we're just gonna bring it right to size. Now we're gonna finish the back side of the ID. 
internal diameter. Not too much work going on. Now we're gonna do one final finish pass on the OD and ID. And we're ready to get this part over to the mill department. I love when a plan comes together. Last week, I got a call from Team Renazetter and they needed some very critical parts in a hurry. A week later, boom! Just like that, American manufacturing happening right here at Titan America by Team Titan. When I'm driving down, the car kind of feels like an extension of my own body. So you've been doing this for 20 years. So when you're up in the air, it's really like part of you that you're just, you don't even think about it. You just make those adjustments. You just feel it. It's all natural now. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it sounds kind of corny, but I call it a little bit of the force. You know, you, you absolutely feel these sensories coming through your body, your seat. All you really have in there is, is your steering wheel and your brakes and your, and your throttle when you, mm. when you think about it, right? So. But there's so much that happens between all those things when they relate to each other and, and what you feel. So it's kind of hard to explain. I don't really think about it that much. Yeah, I just yeah, kind of yeah. do it, you know? Oh, man. Light as a feather. Here it is, yeah, Bill. Nice. I actually can't believe how much lighter this thing is. Let's get it put in. All right, let me jump up there. You can hand it to me. Wow, that went pretty quick. So how was the assembly? Pretty close to flawless, man. Slides right in. All right, just a few more bolts. Get some mounts in this thing. We'll be all set. Ready to go, ready for racing. Can't wait to watch it on Mav TV, like blowing down the dirt track, and uh, our parts are on your truck, so it's an honor. So thank you so much. See you in the winter, sir. All right, yes. Thanks, Thanks brother. Again, Titan. Oh, great meeting you, man. Keep yeah. building right here in America, making Absolutely. it happen. This is where Carl goes for it, man. He loves this oh, move right here. Tripping. Here it comes. He straightens it out and gets a run down the bottom, a little bit of contact. That is a good pass. And these guys are just absolutely fighting for this last win. And here comes Kyle right back at him on the inside. Carl is there. What a great race. Oh, 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 Drives oh, oh, up the oh, side oh. on the outside. What an exciting last couple of laps. What a show between two talented drivers.